What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create an amazing outro. As you guys can see right now, from scratch, we're not gonna create anything out of a template. We're not gonna download any templates and just customize them, which only takes a couple minutes. Because last week, I also announced that I'm gonna give away three codes that you guys can use at renderforest.com. You can just get my code that I'm gonna announce in just a minute, and then you can just fill it in and get an outro for free. That was usually 20 bucks. So basically, these are the winners that I picked because I think they can use it the most and they need it the most. I said like, leave in the comments down below why you want to win this coupon code. So if you're watching this, I'll reach out to you uh, myself as well. But if you're watching this, make sure to just shoot me a, like a message on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram and I'll send you the code so you can redeem it on the website. But for today, I'm going to show you guys, like I've mentioned, I'm going to show you guys how to create an amazing outro from scratch. So with that all the way, guys, let's go ahead and get started right after the intro. Alright guys, so as you can see right now, we're on Vegas Pro 17 and in order to make this from scratch, we're not going to use any templates, so we're basically having this blank project. Now what we're going to do is first think what kind of outro do we want, what kind of style do we need, what kind of content is on your channel, what kind of outro is fitting your channel and your content and stuff, that also matters as well. So I thought of like, let's just drag in a clip of a sunset time lapse. It's not really like a sunset, but it's just a time lapse of like, you know, an e like an evening. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna remove the audio because we're gonna add our own music afterwards. We wanna also decide like how long is your intro gonna be? I would say around 15 to 16 seconds would be perfect in order to like give people a chance to click on the end cards and all that. So first of all, what we need to do is I'm going to lower the opacity because the lower the opacity is gonna be like the brighter these end cards are gonna like pop out. So we're not gonna just put in like full brightness. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna place the opacity at around 65%. Then what we need to do is we need to also right click properties, uncheck maintain aspect ratio and disable the resample so it's going to look a lot smoother. As a small detail, we're going to add in some fire sparks that are coming from the bottom. So let me also drag in that clip. Oh, and by the way, guys, you can find all these clips on YouTube. As you see, like all these fire sparks, I'm going to also do the same. Uncheck maintain aspect ratio and disable the resample. I'm going to also add in some uh, brightness and contrast as well. But we need to also remove the, ba the black background. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new video track. We're going to place these fire sparks on on top of the actual outro clip and then we what we need to do is we need to be able to see through them so right now we're going to go to the compositing mode of the fire spark track and we're going to put that one to screen which is going to remove the black background and right now we can see through it and the fire sparks are actually just showing so that's basically a really a really cool detail that we can actually use now obviously if the fire spark clip is too short you can just also press ctrl c ctrl free to loop it or what you can do is create a crossfade as well which looks really really cool. So what we need to do now is basically add in some text. So at the very top, we're going to add in thanks for watching. So I'm going to go to the media generators tab, scroll all the way down until we see titles and text. And I'm going to just pick the default one, drag it on top of the of everything basically. And we want to stretch this text over the entire outro. So then what we need to do is for example, type in thank you for or thanks for watching but then what we need to do is also like give, just give it a little bit more of a like a different font guys the standard one looks a little bit too basic a little bit too like amateur so we're gonna just scroll down until we see like a nice font so let me just scroll down a bit i'm like kind of like obsessive when it comes to these fonts because i just want to have the font like look perfect let's just go ahead and pick this one but it's also way too big let's pick the size 20 i think that one looks perfect what we need to do now is just position this at the top what we can also add in as details is just add in a little outline for example, a black one. And what we can also do is add in some shadow. So I'm going to make a black outline like that. And then we're going to also add in the shadow. Okay, I think that one looks really, really nice. So in order to actually like imagine what the outro is going to look like, we're not going to like put any videos in, in the editing software. We're going to just basically making this outro and then we're going to export it and you'll place the, the end cards on YouTube itself. I'm going to also show you guys how to do that when this outro is done. Okay, so now we're going to proceed to the next thing, which is basically adding our social media, because let's say that people want to follow you on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, anything. We're going to drag on these 
these icons as well. Okay, so right here, I just found a image of Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter all in just one frame, PNG transparent. So they're way too big. So I'm gonna click on the track motion icon of the social media track, and I'm, we're gonna just resize them a little bit. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just resize them until it's like about that size. And what we need to do is let's just go ahead and position it right there. And we're gonna also make sure that it is nice and centered like that. Okay, the next thing what we need to do is we can just fill in our name right here over social media. Now, I want to mention that if you have Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all the same name, for example, at blank, you can just, you know, copy one text layer. But if you have like three different social media names, for example, facebook.com forward slash blank, and then for example, like instagram.com slash blank two, and twitter.com forward slash blank three, you need to fill in three different text types so people will make sure you they will follow the right account. But let's go ahead and proceed, and let's say that we have all social media names under one name. So we're gonna just copy and paste the thanks for watching actual text pattern. We're gonna just adjust it. So let's just go ahead and type in Alex Halford. Let's pretend that that's gonna be the name of all our accounts. And what we need to do then is just go ahead and place it at the very bottom, just like that. All right, this looks very, very nice. So let's go ahead and play it back. So as you can see, this is basically the fire sparks coming in along with like the time lapse. Thanks for watching. We have our social media at the very end. So right now, if you think this one looks great you can just go ahead and add some music and export it as well but i think it can add in like a little bit more detail such as a vignette which is basically gonna make like the edges a little bit darker let me just show you what what, what it looks like just like that is you can see it looks very very cinematic i don't really want this vignette to cross over the text so i'm gonna drag this vignette track under the text so the text remains just normal and white as you can see just like that. Okay, so that looks really, really cool. So you can just imagine like, okay, right now here is gonna be, for example, like a random video, and right here is gonna be my previous video or the other way around. So the next thing that we can also do is add in, for example, like this line that I found online. Okay, I really think this line looks very nice. It's just like a really, really, really thin, small white border. But what we can also do is we can just mess with the compositing mode, and we can actually like make the like the edges like color and stuff. I'm gonna just, uh, you know, go through the compositing mode a couple times so you guys you know see what that actually can do so if you just go ahead and for example mess with the compositing mode you can just you know go ahead and go through and see which one you like the best for example like this one like you will actually see through it or you can also lower the opacity and as you can see if i just zoom out just a little that is basically what it looks like you have the lines on the side and at the top it's looking really really nice okay so the last thing that we need to do right now is just go ahead and insert some music now i can actually recommend to use no copyright sounds or basically any mu like any song that's not copyrighted because otherwise you won't be able to monetize your video well the video is monetized but the all the revenue goes to the label okay let's just drag in a song and let's actually find the drop okay so right here she sings i need you by my side right here And then we're gonna make the outro kick in. So we can actually like make like a build up, for example, like talking, for example, like, thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. You know what I always do. And then it can have this fade in and then we can actually make the outro start. So what we're gonna do then is we're gonna make sure that we will select everything that we just made. And then we're gonna just go ahead and select it all, press G to group it. And then we're gonna make it kick in where the drop comes right here. And then what you can do at the end is just like go to the very end of the song. And then she sings, I need you by my side again. Let's just split it right there and then just go back. And then just cut away entire part of the song like that. And let's just time it. I'm going to put on my headphones because that's a really cool detail that you can do. Like just put the end part of the song at the beginning. So it will actually like fade out and it sounds really short. All right, let's do that. Let's just make a little crossfade. And then when she sings, we can just cut everything and delete it. So this is basically what we've come to create.
Okay guys, so right now we're on youtube.com and let's say that we just fully exported our video and it finished uploading. What you want to do then is go to the end screen tab, but don't pay attention to this error. I have this error for months now. I've tweeted at YouTube like, yo, why can I just like import like these end screens? And I just can't seem to solve it. So, but what you would basically will see is this, what you basically will see is this window. So then what you can do is add an element. So then what you want to do is add element, video or playlist. You want to click on create and then you can see you can just position your video for example right here or right here you can add in multiple videos if you want to and that is basically how to do it this is how to create these end screens and that's basically how you actually get people to click through your video when they finish watching the video that's how simple it is it's just an end screen feature on youtube itself you're not going to add in any videos in vegas, in vegas pro itself it just all is done it's just all done on youtube itself so guys that's basically how to create an amazing outro from scratch if you guys have any more ideas or tell me in the comments how your outro is going to look like or what the perfect outro looks like for you let me know that down in the comments down below i really hope you guys enjoyed this video this is how to do it guys i want to thank you guys for watching thank you for the continued support i'll catch you guys on monday with a brand new video have an amazing weekend and i'll see you guys obviously next week